Hello everyone, this is Shishi. Today I'm coming on to share with you my AliExpress haul. Uh, it'll consist of some embellishments, dyes, stamps, and some miscellaneous items. So first up I want to share with you some statements that I got and I'll do my best to share with you some links uh, to sellers. I know some people have requested for seller links because it's difficult to find sellers. So here are some colors of the different stamens that I purchased. Now I don't recall buying um, this much pink but it's very really hard to tell in the pictures all the different shades of pink but there is a slight different um, tint between these two pinks but it's it's really like I said difficult to tell um, the different shades of colors but you can pick what shades of colors that you want um, based on the pictures so um, I don't recall all the different colors but I, I just clicked on all the different shades and I purchased them they were like 66 cents a bundle and each bundle is supposed to contain like 400 stamens which I, I didn't count out all the different stamens so I, I believe it's about 400 per bundle and I make a lot of flowers so I just bought all the different colors uh, because I never know which colors I'm going to be making so here are all the colors that I got and it was you know really inexpensive so I just purchased all these different colors and these are like a matte finish so that's what I got and I will post the link to the seller and just be mindful of the when you get to the pink shade that that's what you will receive so you may just want to decide you know which one pink that you'll get that they're very close in color but I thought it was going to be a little bit different but they ended up being about the same so that's okay I'll, I'll really use them and it will go to you so that's what I got as far as stamens from this one seller and then I got a different type of stamen and these were more of like a, a shiny finish so I like the the tips on this stamen and I did make a flower and here's what it looks like in this flower so it's really pretty I do plan to bring back my Friday flowers so I'll be making a lot of flowers so here are all the shades that I got from this other seller it may have been the same seller I'm not sure but they're supposed to have um, 400 as well sometimes you'll get a bundle with some different shades in it by mistake but that's okay I'm going to use them here's some reds and greens and like I said I'll use all of them because I make a lot of flowers and these were about like 60 cents a bundle so very inexpensive and I like to get golds and silvers so those are really pretty to put in the centers of your flowers so I got that as well and again they were really inexpensive to get these bundles um, at that price so I got that as well and I bought some more flower centers because I want to make different types of flowers with different centers so I got these they look like this and those will go nicely in the uh, centers of my flowers I also got some hearts you can put these in the centers of uh, paper bows or fabric bows or flowers they look nice or even butterflies if you make paper butterflies I also picked up these type of hearts they look like this and you can do a lot of things it's not really like a beaded like with string in the middle is all together so I just thought these look really pretty and I don't recall the price but it's it's really inexpensive as well and I'll post I'll do my best to post the links below those are like a cream color and then I got like a 
I want to say this is pearl. So these are a little bit bigger. And I'll show you the difference in size between the other two. See, these are the difference in size. But this is like a cream and this is like a pearl. So I got that and I think it's like a hundred per bag. Then I got some buttons and these are butterflies and they come in different colors really pretty and I believe this is about I want to say 50 or 100 butterflies I'm not really sure but they weren't that expensive as well and they come in different colors but I really like the way they looked so really pretty but they're supposed to be buttons but I plan to use them on different projects so I got those as well then I picked up some trim I plan to cut these up for flower centers so this is what it looks like and I believe it's about a yard so really pretty and a YouTube friend named Kim Possible she had sent me some trim like this and I really loved it I still have a little bit left but what I saw some I don't know if she got it from AliExpress but I I really loved it so I bought some and I believe this is a body yard and it wasn't too expensive so I got some and then I noticed that um, AliExpress sells like some type of snowflake embellishments I don't know if this is what it is but it looks like this and I thought these would be really pretty to go in flower center so I got like I think this is a bundle of 100 or 50 but it wasn't that much as well and I also bought some hearts some wooden veneer hearts and they say love so they weren't that expensive either so I got I believe two bags of 100 so they just say love and these were the two bags that I got and then I bought a pom-pom maker and it makes a heart shape pom-pom and the directions unfortunately are in Mandarin I believe so I'm going to try my best to figure it out how to use it based on the little pictures that it shows I haven't really had a chance to play with it but this is what it looks like when it comes so that's what I got and then I bought some punches they look like this they're really small but I thought they would be cute for little shaker cards I got the Eiffel Tower and an umbrella and then I also got this little flower and they were like 75 cents I believe I'll post a link to the seller they had all kinds of little punches but this is what it punches out like and um, here are the little die cuts inside but I had never seen an Eiffel Tower punch before I thought that was really unique or an umbrella one so really neat and I picked those up and then I got some stencils I got some stars I thought those were cool uh, let's see if I can I don't know if this would help or not I have some scrap paper to help you see the star stencil and then I got a heart shape of hearts stencil and then I got a it's really hard to see but it's supposed to be a feather stencil we put a lot of stickers on them and then this one is numbers so a collage of numbers maybe that'll help I thought that was really neat and then I picked up a rubber mat to emboss and it kind of reminds me of like a I want to say spellbinders but it's not very thick but I did have a thicker one by Sizzix and I wanted to try out a thinner one because I have a different embossing machine that's electronic and sometimes it it requires a thinner embossing mat so I thought I would try it out 
And the size of this mat, let me get a ruler so I can give you guys a measurement. It is five inches by about seven inches. So it worked in a normal die cutting machine. And this was about $3. So really good price for the embossing mat. And then I got some um, embossing folders. This one is butterflies and a ribbon. So I did cut out, well, I, I embossed the example of how well it embosses. Hope you guys can see that. So really nice texture. These are little hearts at the top, the butterflies, and then the ribbon right here. So that's that one. These were not too bad for the size, and these are six by six. Then I got a rose. This one you can see the pattern very well. This is what it looks like. Again, this is six by six, so it should work in a regular die cutting machine. Um, this next one is a really big one, so you'll need a big embossing um, machine. This is eight by eight and it embosses beautifully and I believe you should flip it this way because the bow is this way so it has roses and stripes so really beautiful pattern and then some dots at the bottom so really nice there and then um, I got a Christmas pattern I didn't do this one because I don't plan to use this anytime soon but it has like Christmas presents I don't know if you can see this one very well. Let me put this paper behind it. And then it has some little dots, bow in the middle, and then just different Christmas themes in the top. So that's one that I got. So I only got four. They had a really nice selection of big embossing folders. Next up, I'm going to show the dies that I purchased from AliExpress. I purchased this doily die. I've already uh, been putting away my dies and matting them onto magnet sheets. So I purchased this die. It's really pretty. It's a doily. You can cut out the center and make flowers or different things with the doily. I did cut out the doily in black. So really pretty. Looks like that. Uh, some of these I was able to cut out, some I just didn't have time. This is a little treat box. It's not very big, but it's really cute. Maybe you can put some little Hershey Kisses inside. Maybe use them as little party favors to decorate a table. But it has a little heart handle. But 